Hello everyone and welcome back. Another video featuring a product from Raw and Rugged Leather Company. So this is the second set of side panel bags that I have bought from Raw and Rugged Leather Company. I bought a black set uh, back in March or April of this year and I had them on my interceptor for a couple of months. I then decided to buy a brown seat and I sold the black side bags to someone locally. When I found the leather suede seat cover from Ron Rugged, I of course bought the side panel bags in the same order and I'm now going to do another little review of them. I have reviewed the black ones before already, as some of you will know, but let's have a look at the suede ones this time. Before we even get into take a deeper look at the side panel bags, what I will say is I would consider these to be the essential accessory for the Royal Enfield Interceptor or Continental GT650. I think for the price that you pay for them, the fact that they look fantastic, they give you a little bit of storage on the bike, I really do consider these to be essential accessories at this point. If you don't have a pair of these already, you should really consider buying them. And if you stick around till the end of the video, there's also an exclusive discount code that Ron Rugged have given me to share with you as well. So these are the side panel bags in tobacco suede and these match the tobacco seat cover absolutely perfectly. Now what I will say is at the time of recording this, I do not see them advertised on the Raw and Rugged website. The guys at Raw and Rugged actually reached out to me when I ordered the seat cover and the tobacco bags in leather to ask if I'd like them in suede. So my recommendation would be if you're looking for the suede tobacco, give them a shout, drop them an email and see if there's something they can do to arrange that for you. However, they do sell these side panel bags in tobacco leather, as I mentioned. They sell them in black leather as well. They do a chocolate brown leather, which looks really nice too. And they sell them singly for £37 in the UK, or they sell them as a pair for £56.99. As I said, keep watching and there is an exclusive discount code at the end for you as well. Let's talk about storage first and foremost. The primary reason to buy these is of course for storage and for such a small bag it can actually fit a decent amount of stuff. If we take a look back at the video that I filmed earlier this year with the black leather bags you can see that I was able to fit some tools in there, a couple of spanners, wrench, you can get a bottle of juice I think in there as well, there was a you know a breakfast bar and old number of stuff. Now when I'm out riding typically I'll have uh, one of my phones, I use two phones so I'll have one of my phones in there, I'll also have maybe my vape, my e liquid, I'll have my keys in there, maybe some spaghetti, and um, some of my camera equipment, my invisible selfie stick, my handlebar mount, all of these things fit in those bags. Now of course there is a limit, these aren't panniers, they are side panel bags, so you do reach your limit relatively quickly, but for normal everyday going out for a ride for one or two hours, there's not much that you can't fit in these that you're going to want to take with you, right? A packet of cigarettes, a lighter, that kind of thing, no problem at all. Means that you don't have to carry these things in your pocket and it might save you carrying a backpack for such a small amount of stuff. So I think they're absolutely fantastic. As I said, I think they're an essential accessory for the Interceptor 650 at this point. Now they fit really easily. They have these three elastic straps on the rear of the bag and these just stretch over your side panels. So they're really easy to fit, they're really easy to take off if you want to for cleaning the bike. Now I would recommend taking these off to clean the bike every so often. What I did notice the last time I had these with the black leather side panel bags, when I eventually took them off, which I didn't do very often, I noticed that the surface of the side panels was getting a little bit scuffed. Now I assume that's from dirt and debris getting behind the side panel bag and just that little bit of friction from my legs rubbing against them as I'm riding the bike. So I would recommend take them off, give everything a little clean, a little polish, put some protection on there and put them back on. Alternatively, if you're really worried about it, of course, what you could do is go and get the clear 3M paint protection film and you could put that on the side panels as well. I wouldn't go as far as that. I think taking them off, cleaning them every so often and just doing a little bit of polishing will, will take care of everything. Now in terms of look and feel and overall quality, the suede ones feel even better quality than the leather ones and I was impressed with the leather ones back then as well. It's a really nice soft suede, everything feels very very high quality, stitching all seems to be really solid, really secure. Those straps in the back are, are nice and tight but they don't feel like they're going to tear anytime soon. I've had a good tug at those, nothing seems like it's going to pop away in terms of stitching or anything breaking on me so I'm really happy. Now keeping in mind the price point here. £37 each or £56.99 for a pair. 
so we're talking a very low price for what looks to me to be a really high quality item. I actually can't say enough good things about what Raw and Rugged are doing. I think it's quite clear from anyone who is in the Interceptor Continental community is they're doing something very similar to what Trip Mission are doing it for a far more reasonable and far more affordable price and I think they are absolutely going places. We've got some really nice details on here. We have the stitched on label uh, with Raw and Rugged Leather Co company on there. Now on the other leather bags you get an embossed logo on there. Both look very nice. Um, it's a buckle closure with a stud fastener on the buckle as well and there's also a zip inside so everything you put in there is going to be completely secure I would imagine it's completely safe from the odd drizzle if you get cut out in the rain I don't know that I'd want to use these if I was touring and in rain, you know, heavy rain constantly without treating them I would certainly be spraying some Nick Wax spread protector or something like that on these if you were planning on using them in the wet regularly Not something I'm going to do because I typically don't ride in the rain unless I get caught out and when I do it's just the odd shower so I'm not super concerned about that in terms of the look, I, I think they look fantastic. I guess it's a subjective thing, but I do think they look fantastic. They go really, really well with obviously the um, suede seat cover from Ron Rugged as well. Um, you would think they were made for each other, of course they were. And I just love the look of the bike with these side panel bags on as well. I think it finishes the bike off so nicely. I've said this in my last video as well. I think the, the side panels are something on the Interceptor that just, I can't quite put my finger on why, but they just don't look quite right. Some people would suggest that's because they should be colour coded. I've said the same in the past myself, but then when I look at them with colour coded panels, because a lot of people are getting that done, still doesn't look quite right to me for some reason. So I think the side panel bags are a really nice way to hide something that for me, isn't the nicest looking feature of the bike, really finishes it off nicely, I mean these look very vintage, very authentic, you know, raw and rugged, which is a great name obviously for the company because it's really, it's really representative of the products they've got, right, they look really vintage, really authentic, and I think they just set the bike off very, very nicely. You do not feel them when you're riding, somebody asked me that question before, and I had my son on the back of the bike recently as a pillion, and certainly his legs weren't banging off them or anything like that either, so they really don't get in the way. They're very affordable, as I said before, £37 for one or £56.99 for two. I'm delighted paying that price for them and I will be up front. So the seat cover and the side panel bags I paid for with cash. Uh, I'm saying a lot of nice things about Raw and Rugged Leather Co here and you might assume that's because I have some sort of affiliation with them but I certainly do not. I've just been really impressed with their products and in my dealings with them the service I've had from them has been absolutely fantastic and um, so I cannot fault them at all so go on have a look here's the moment you've been waiting for the guys at Rowan Rugged have been nice enough to offer me a discount code to share with you all on my channel I'm delighted they've done this it's the first time a vendor or a retailer has ever given me a discount code so it feels like a special little moment for me to be sharing it with you so if you go to rawnrugged.in right now, you can order these side panel bags or any of their other products and you can get 15% off using the code MOTOCAL15 and that code is valid till the 20th of September. As I say, it's 15% off using the code MOTOCAL15. So go and check them out, see if you can pick up some bargains with 15% off and let me know if you do and let me know what you think. My recommendation, if you're going to get anything, get yourself a pair of side panel bags. As I said, as far as I'm concerned, these are an essential accessory for the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. Thank you very much for watching, have a great day and take it easy.